Hi everyone. So I'm Arindam, senior manager at Academically, and we have uh, Nancy. Nancy is one of our recent students who have cleared caps in her first attempt with flying colors, right? So I'm here to congratulate her on the entire fraternity, and we would love to hear from Nancy about her experiences. And I'll be asking a few questions on your behalf, right? A few questions came. Uh, we, I mean, during the Q and A session. And would, I would love to, you know, ask those to Nancy and get her views on it, right? So without any further delay, let's start and hear about Nancy. Nancy, if you can just give us a one minute, you know, introduction about yourself, your background, and then we'll take it forward. Uh, hi, I'm Nancy Philip. Uh, I did my uh, bachelor's in pharmacy and I also completed my master's in pharmaceutical biotechnology. Uh, after uh, after completion of my uh, master's degree, I have joined in some of the project in Manipal College of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Um, that project is completed and uh, I was pursuing my PhD, but with uh, health issues and some other issues, I couldn't continue that. Uh, I was in that uh, uh, case. It was a block in my uh, career. So I had to think what to do next. So I was uh, I was thinking about migrating. Uh, I mean, I didn't have any experience in any pharmacy field. Uh, so most of the overseas countries were asking about the experience. Okay. So when I uh, searched for the countries, I found that uh, Australia now, they are get, giving a lot of opportunities to... Uh, medical mm -hmm. practitioners, especially pharmacists, was there in the skill migration group. Uh, so mm -hmm. I thought I'll just apply and see. When I just saw the criteria, I saw this exam caps. That's that's the time when I first saw. I mean, first heard about the exam. So when I searched the internet, I got some sample questions. Uh, it was almost eight years break was there from my bachelor's mm -hmm. and. The thing, eight nine years difference was there. Uh, so when I when I tried to attempt that time, I completely lost my touch with the subject okay. uh, because I was not doing anything related to my subjects when I was doing a project. Uh, so it was uh, it was like I completely forgot my subject. I was really disappointed in me that time. Uh, I I could only hardly answer one or two questions. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then I thought, uh, let, let me join some other group or something. Then only I can do something. That time only I come to know about uh, Akram Sir's academically. I spoke with him. He gave me that confidence to do that. And I joined academically. After the, I, I was still nervous because I don't know whether is it enough or whether I can do it. I don't know that stuff. So when I first joined and the first class, uh, I said that time I got that confidence. Uh, that class was so powerful and the explanation was so simple. I remember that. Uh, I didn't okay. forget it. That is the issue. Uh, that is a thing with the subject, okay? pharmacology, whatever it is. If you study that very next day, we'll forget it. So, but the way of teaching by academically, it, it's a, such a way that it was simplified and it was a way that we remember. Okay. Uh, that is a great thing I'll tell about the academically classes. Arif sir and Harika ma'am, uh, they will they will they'll definitely make sure that you will remember it, and you will learn it, and you can uh, you know uh, you can uh, replicate it like how they did it. Right. You know that is a great positive thing about this academically. I'll tell. And whatever they're teaching, they concise it. And it's a very vast syllabus. Almost four subjects were there and almost four B farm subjects is there. Okay. And they concised it so much. And um, within three months, we could complete. Now, I completed within two months because I was not doing job at that time. Achha. I mean, now also I'm not. So I could, uh, I mean, I have a baby, I have a family, I have all this, but then also I could dedicate some time for that and I could do it. Right. Um, okay. That is, it. They, they will teach that how, uh, how much we have to do. See, Nancy, this much you have to study. You should not go beyond the border. You right. should not go. Uh, all the stuff because they are working there as a pharmacist, as a practitioner. They know how to do it. They know how much they are doing there. 
how much we have to learn. I really appreciate academically for all that stuff. <laughs> I don't think so any other uh, any other career guidance thing or any other coaching center can do uh, like this as academically is doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Nancy, one of the uh, very important uh, questions that always come up right during the Q&A sessions with our uh, other students, the upcoming aspirants is how difficult is, uh, you know, CAPS actually, right? And uh, like, I believe you have done your master's. So you must have appeared for yes. GPAT as well, right? So, yes, I am a qualified person. GPAT so, qualified. so if you compare GPAT with CAPS, which one will you, you know, rate as tougher? I think CAPS. <laughs> CAPS is tougher. Okay. Okay. That's that's interesting. Yeah, and... uh, it's it's like, uh, no, uh, it's like GPAT also will get the repeated question. Caps also will get the repeated question, but it's like in JPEG we know what we will we'll get because okay. um, we are just we if we are appearing for JPEG after the four years of our masters, I mean our mm -hmm. bachelors, so we'll expect that we'll get this kind of things and this is the question and we have the guide and all we have coaching centers whatever it is we we expect these things but carbs means we don't know anything about anything that about because it's completely based on australian guidelines so what uh, indian practicing uh way and um, australian practicing way is different okay. uh, so what is their guidelines what is indian guidelines so uh, you know uh, you understand that what's that we, we, we are not familiar with that right uh, so for me i feel that carbs is little when i uh, see the first question paper it was like particular uh, topic. Mm -hmm. GPAT is like a vast thing. So if we get a classification, we'll see in around that classification only. Really, it's a common one. But CARBS is very particular. Very particular about the drug. Very particular about the side effects. Everything. Uh, interactions. Everything It was very particular on to the top. Okay. So we should get a deep knowledge. At least right. in the subject, we should get a knowledge about that. Right. It scared me a lot when I saw that. So what uh, will be your advice going forward for the new aspirants? Like I'm not talking about taking admission in academically and all those things because you have, you know, uh, you have been thankful to us so many times. I mean, in the first introduction itself, you have thanked us so many times that I I'm, I really don't want you to say about all those things. But just a genuine, you know, advice, like um, how should they prepare? How should they prepare for the camps? Like, what should be their daily routine? What was your daily routine? How many hours were you dedicating, right, you know, uh, for the MCQs and other stuff? If you can just give them some insights about that. Okay. Uh, it's like uh, each classes, after each classes, um, I'll be in the live class also. After that, the very same day, I'll again hear the class and I'll make my own notes. Okay. The handouts are there, but uh, teachers will give more information on their live classes, uh, more broad information used to give. So I didn't take the printout of the handout. I myself sit, I'll dedicate some time. I write each and every notes in the slides and okay. I have prepared that. Then, then the very that day or next day, I'll be by hearting or I'll be studying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. That portion will be thorough for me. Then the very uh, the next day they will be having another classes. I mean, uh, weekly four classes was there. Right. So next next day I'll make note. The same way I will do. And then uh, Monday Tuesday there was no class, so I'll be studying all that stuff on the Saturday Sunday whatever I get. Then uh, I won't stop with that. Um, then uh, this process will be continuing in middle middle one day I'll dedicate to revise my things. Okay. Because it's very volatile subject that I'll forget the things very easily. So if we give a long break, we'll forget that. So I'll uh, one day at the week, I'll dedicate it and I'll uh, dedicate for the revising the topics. So when I do that, it was it become very easy for me so that I don't have to dedicate so much time to revise because already it is there in my mind. I had to just read, right. uh, I mean, refresh it. That's it. Then every five to ten days, uh, every first I did every five to ten days, I used to do mocks, whatever, um, whatever they see in ways is over, CNS is over, whatever the uh, portions were completing, I do the mocks, 
uh, we have that schedule. I mean, sir given me given us a schedule that we should do every five to ten days. The mocks we have to do. If we do one time also, we like next time if you do that, we'll forget. So okay. every five to ten days, I'll do that. And I tried. Uh, I do. Um, I did calculations also. I tried with myself before the classes. This is then I tried to also ask about this calculations thing. Right. Uh, there at times there are many people who are you know uh, afraid of calculations. Uh, what we do? Uh, what yes, do you yes. want to suggest for them? I mean, I also get a lot of calls from upcoming aspirants. They said that I am very bad at calculations. So, any anything specific that you want to focus on this aspect? Uh, the calculations what I am telling is not like a mathematical one or it's not that tough one. Uh, you have the calculation based on simple equations, formulas. First, we have to buy hard the formulas because formulas are really important. Uh, mm -hmm. We won't get any formulas in the, I mean, in the questions. So always I used to refresh my formulas before whatever I am doing. Then this also calculations also I used to do every five to ten days. Um, the same thing I used to do again and again. Uh, most of the dilutions, most of the one is very simple one, very dilution, dilution based ones and all. Some of the, some of them are tricky. We have to think, we have to imagine that this slide, uh, this glasses, if you force something and then how much dilution will come, like that. But I am telling that repeatedly, you should overcome your uh, insecurities and your fear by doing it, by facing it. Only you will overcome your fear. Right. That I learned from my all, uh, all my life experience. We should uh, face our fears, then only we should overcome it. Right. Uh, so I did like that. So I tried myself first. I tried to think with the handouts, handouts already there. So first is that they are giving handout. So with, before the class itself, I tried to learn that handout my, myself. I had to try to do it myself. Mm -hmm. Then uh, whatever mistakes I made, I never uh, disappointed in that. Because I, I'm thinking that, yes, I'll get the class. Teachers will explain in that class. I'll be more clear in that uh, area, more concept. Uh, so I was very confident in that. Then when the class they started the calculations, I got uh, got to know more about that. I clearly understood. See, I did mistake in these things. Right. Yes, it was in this way. Uh, so it was uh, it was very good that I did before. Okay. So I got I got a good um, clarity, a good good understanding. Mm -hmm. So I I'm I'm telling that uh, I'm telling this. For uh, people whomever is not confident in calculations, you should try to do by yourself with the with the handouts, and they teachers are always there to help you. Whatever calculations, whatever doubt you have, they are they are ready to repeat how many times you want. I really appreciate the staffs, Arif sir and Harika ma'am. They are ready to. Uh, they are so patient. They are ready to explain whatever doubt you have. They are ready to explain how many times you want. I okay. really appreciate that. Right. That's, that's... You don't have to worry anything uh, with this because right. the people are there to support us and people are there to give us guidance, coaching. We just have to learn. Just have to study. We that's have to do it. our mock text. Then only we will be thorough with. Because most of the questions were from the mock test. Most of them was discussed in the class. Okay. In the last classes and all, there were just discussions. A lot of everything. Uh, I when I started getting questions, I was I first I was nervous in the mm -hmm. exam. When I started getting questions, I was becoming so relaxed. Even every question I was getting so relaxed, I, I become so confident. Right. I mean, before class, before itself, I was confident, but some some nervousness may be there in our uh, in our core mind. Absolutely. See whether I could know, or <laughs> whether I will remember. Right, right, right. right but right. before right. itself, I was telling to my husband, my family members, that I was very confident with my subject. I can do it because of academically only I could tell that I can right, do right, it. Right, that right, right. Perfect. Perfect. About Australian question, Australian guidelines, they really give very good questions about that mm -hmm. because they are practitioners. So Obviously, they know very exactly. well. They have hands-on exposure on what has to be done. Yeah, and they used to teach us with that only. See, we uh, we took this from Australian guidelines. 
the Australian Medical Guidelines. You, they showed us, see, this is the guidelines which is said. In that, this is this thing. In Indian and Australian, there are very different, I mean, a lot of difference was there. They showed this, see, this is our practice, way of practice. Like right. that. Thank you, thank you, Nancy, for all this information. I think this was really, uh, you know, helpful. I mean, if I show this video to uh, those aspirants, I think most of their questions will be, you know, answered. It was great to have you, Nancy, uh, during this interview, and all the best for your near future. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much.